2019 November, the second Saturday. It's about quarter to six. Uh, we're going to do George Peak through the forest. You can't see the peak at the moment. Um, quite a fair group here. And the plan today is to do it nice and slowly. Okay, this is the start um, through the forest. Um, just a moment, let's just look back. There's sunrise, some birds in the background. That's the Arbor, Arbor Road gate. And here we go. All right. yeah, it's just about coming onto. Five two no ten to six five to six. Uh, we're going on to the link downhill track. Um, this is at the top of the forest. There's Arbor Road in the background, and here we go. All right. Sorry, I'm not too sure if I still have to wave your video. No, that's okay. I'll I'll rotate around you. Yeah. This is a little bit of park run. Yeah. A couple of tree roots yeah. across the way. No, you'll be able to deal with it. And why are you giving us a downhill when we should be going up? Uh, the uphill's coming. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. No, no. Shortly. This is what you call a break. Yeah. And that is the fantastic route. It's quite fantastic. And this is the link going up the hill. That's more or less than you got to That's right. It's about what, 10 past 6 on my watch and uh, this is the top of the link. There's a sign on the tree. The link going down and uh, we're going towards sunrise now. That's the peak Some in the middle of the shot. I'm going up there. But I've never been up the mountain. I've, we've run up to the tower, which I think is the high country somewhere. Is this the normal top country? Yeah, that's right. There where the road bends in the front. Um, we're not going to go around the bend. We're going to go left up the mountain. <laughs> it's a long and straight path for a bit. Um, all good, right? The next turn is right here in front, about 10 meters away. Oh, at the cross where we stop next. Because okay. we don't have to stop now. Uh, we are going to stop before we get to the cross again. Oh, okay. yes. It's very steep now up to the cross. Uh, not very steep. It's a gradual gradient. Okay. Um, but it's steeper than. It's not steeper than what we've just done. We've just done a kilometer, by the way, in terms of push. All oh, right. From the car. Um, yeah. And we're going to take this. We're going to take this path straight up to the top where it, where it runs into the bush there, and then we're going to take a left towards the tower, but not all the way towards the tower. It's about 20 past 6 on my watch. Here's a steep uphill. You can't really see it through the trees here. And uh, you come up the hill. 
There's a split to the right. And we're going to take the left hand side. That path over there to the right goes to the old George Dam. Old George Dam. Many people get confused apparently. Um, there are three dams, three big, well, relatively big dams in the in the local area. That's the old George George Dam. It's it's got a proper dam wall. Uh, there's a crack in the wall, and that's probably why they don't bother with it too much anymore. Um, then, if you go through Tornelbos above the railway line, through Tornelbos towards Tikop Way, um, you get to the George Dam, and then past that to Tierkop and then down to Sarsfeld, then you get to the Garden Route Dam. Oh. And many people get these confused. Many people call the dark Garden Route Dam the George Dam. Yeah. And they call the old George Dam the George Dam. Okay, it's about 25 past six. Um, we're on the horizontal path going towards the tower way from uh, that turn off, that last turn off. There's a town on our left hand side, sun behind our backs. There's a bit of mud coming up, uh, it's about a pace apart. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then the path takes a, a turn to the right. It carries on ahead, but uh, but we're going up up the hill. All right. Here's our next bit of climb. We're going to the railway liner. Oh yeah, yeah. The tracks have climbed quite a bit by Yep. What's that? Uh, I forgot now. I wonder what the heights is where the, the power vans that used to take you up. They used to say, I think they climbed to about 800 meters. Uh, that might be about right because yeah. Otaniqua Pass is about 800. Yeah. 850 or so something. It climbs to that sort of level. Yeah. And then from there, yeah, we go another 500. Last little bit of steepness before the railway line. Yep. Careful. Sorry. All right. There you go. It is rather gravelly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And railway line. There you go. Okay. Right, there's the track. Yeah. That's the rubber yet. There's a Robbie and Gidai. Right, head in. Okay. From here, from here we're going towards the, the tower on the rubber line for a short bit again. And then we're going to turn up the mountain again. To go, there's a pylon up there. The pylon is just behind the bushes, and behind that is the cross. And then from there is just one way up. <laughs> okay, it's about five to seven. Um, we've just had our picnic here on the railway tracks. That's where I'm going to drop the stick there. This is where we came out. And we're about ready to get up the mountain again. And very shortly, just across the tracks, there's a path. Um, so we actually don't go down the railway tracks, we go up into the mountain immediately. And there's the, the Semtec Tower right behind the bushes. Uh, it's still five to seven, and we're reaching a an old ruin. Um, there's some cement slabs lying around. Uh, 
Step up. Not very fast. <laughs> but we're not here for speed. When I run, then we watch like five minutes a day or whatever that. Then I'm always into that. <laughs> Go yeah. do something like this again. Yes. Actually, you know what? My, my um, phone is tracking the route. Uh, yeah, it's just past seven o'clock. And we're at the pylon with the Centec Tower at the background. And ready to go? Okay. Video shot, yeah, just a quick video. You can put me in the video when I have to scramble up a rock or something. Yeah, Stupid. I'll do that. Yeah, it's about five past seven on my watch, and the cross is just ahead. Uh, it's about quarter past seven on my watch. Hey, you can make it to the to, to the cross on. Okay. You can make it to the cross. We can stop there. Can we make it to the cross? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's a cross in front of us. Okay. And uh, this is one of our main rest points along the way. From here, there's just one path up the hill, and that's up. Two, 2.3, 2.4k. Okay, we've got some uh, route markers here ah. running across. I've never seen these before. This is this is Thunderbird mm. off to the west, and there is just stand there where oh, you are. Oh, sorry. And this is Sun Gazer towards the east. Thunderbird is that the mountain or what? No, it's a. Uh, a running track, I think, or a cycling track, or a something. There's a nice seating here, this way. There's a Centec Tower behind us to the southwest. And there's a Tanikwa Pass in the distance. Don't know if you can see it on the video. You want to sit down? Yeah, maybe it does really matter. It's about 25 to 9 on my watch, still early, some people are having breakfast now. <laughs> That's the way up the hill, and that's the way down the hill, and over there's, that's the old George Dam right behind us. We came up that little path towards the dam this morning. So I hope you get a feel for what's happening on the video here, how steep the path is. This is about one of the steepest sections we've got. And looking up, I have to strain my neck. That's how steep it is. Yeah, it's about 10 past 9. Other people are having breakfast and coffee and croissants and we're climbing a mountain. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. This was our first official bit of rock scrambling. Uh, it was quite challenging. Um, no two bits about it. And it's about 25 past 9 and we're still busy rock scrambling on all fours. Carl is way ahead already. If he can go into 4x4 drive, he moves. <laughs> Well, this gives you an idea of how steep the terrain really is. This is about the steepest it's going to get today. Um, it's quite a stretch. Then it levels out and then there's another stretch of steepness. And then it's not as steep again to the top. Okay, it's about uh, 22.11 on my watch and that's where we've come from and this is the way ahead the top is right over there it seems very close but it's still quite a bit to climb we're at altitude, the air is fairly thin you're going to have to work for your oxygen here you're going to become tired before you get there um, people say amper daar you're not actually quite amper daar yet eh? okay uh, I want to show you the last bit of rock climbing before what you might want to call heartbreak hill the last stretch before you get to the top um, there are yellow markers on the rocks over here there's another one and then you climb up there and I hope my shooting skills are sufficient for you to get an idea of what's involved. It's not impossible to do, but you have to lean against the rocks and wedge your feet into the crevices. Like that. And then grab where you can. Like that. I hope that comes out. And here's some more yellow markers. And there's a nice step. And grab there. Nice curl for your fingers. And go. And then you're pretty much there. That's the worst of it. Here's a deviation to the one side, view over the town, quite spectacular. That's the lake area, wilderness, Sitchfield. There's the Garden Root Dam. Old George Dam, Centic Tower. Witfontein State Forest State Forestry Station and then Mossel Bay across the bay over there and all the way to the horizon and there's a group of people up there waiting for us we're taking our time they're about halfway to the top it seems it's deceptively Hmm, what's the word? Deceptively hard to climb this last little bit because of the, the thin air. It's, you won't notice it, but you're going to work for your oxygen.
Okay, it's going on to 5 to 11 on my watch. Um, can't really see it anymore, but we're just a little bit away from the last bit of rock climbing. And then that's the way to the top. And it is slow going, make no mistake. It's about 20 to 12. And uh, here's a nice little steep climb. You can get a feel for the gradient. Um, the video uh, gives you quite a good idea. Usually a video or a photograph doesn't do it justice, but make no mistake, this is a steep climb. It's about quarter past twelve. And here we are. Last little stretch. Allemaal let het gemaakt. Everybody's here. Was <laughs> 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 Alsrach. Ja. Hey. Hey. Awesome being here. Thank you. Sure. Thank you for coming along. This is one of the best views I know of. Just looking out over the mountains and there's the George Dam. There's a a track running along that just underneath that mountain over there. Going across the ridge. That's Tirkop. There's the hut. And then going down further, down that ridge, dirt road, <coughs> there's a quarry over there, and then behind the quarry, plantations and indigenous forest and Sarsfeld, Sarsfeld campus, and Victoria Bay between the heads over there, wilderness towards the left hand side, the lakes, going towards Sedgefield and Nisna in the far distance, I don't think we can actually see Nisna from here. And then going back down, we're going to take the circle, circle route along the back way, follow this path. And you can see it run across the across the hills. And then there's a little saddle over there. And then runs down the hill on that ridge going back home. From the saddle going down on the ridge you can just make out the white trail past breakfast rock over the hill dropping down and you go downhill towards the railway track just sort of see it bending around the hill over there 
there's the rest of the railway track on the other side but we're going down that way there's a white two-track road we're going down a bit on that and then down into the valley across two streams and up the hill and towards those gray plantations over there and along the edge of those plantations on the eastern side the left hand side of that going down and then turn around the bend and on the northern side the near side of it on that dirt road all the way along and then back home again all along there past the Centec Tower there's a, a bend in and then away again and then and there's the old George Dam and straight across from there through the plantations that's pretty much where we started this morning there's Arbor Road Arbor Road is leading straight away from me and then does that little dog leg bend towards Davidson Road all right that's all the way around George Peak, we climbed it this morning. So, right. yeah, what, what you got, George? And is Muscle Bay to the right? Um, no, you're looking at at the rear of the mountain. Okay. And if you pan towards your right hand side, you're yeah. looking towards Meisner. Meisner, okay. You can see so, the lakes totally. Over there. Okay, cool. So, the around. people, is there enough? There's a town. Okay, so that's George. Okay, tilted slight. I don't know how far it is, and then Muscle right. Bay will be more there. Muscle Bay is about there, that's right. Okay. Okay. Around. There's that little pass. Okay, cool. So phone focusing that. Yes. Okay, cool. It's doing what it should. Okay. Coming back around. And that's okay. where we started. There we go, cool. That's Leaving the peak now. Slightly tricky. Stepping down on the rocks. Here's the town to our left hand side. Wind blowing up the valley. And we're on the knife edge. There's a valley to our right hand side. And a spectacular view. about five past one on my watch and that's the way we've come we can't see George Peak anymore there's a little hill in the way yeah, it's about 20 past one on my watch and uh, this is the saddle there's a little sign ahead with a T-junction comes up from the container. The road carries straight to the straight ahead um, towards Cradle Peak. There's a slight drop. And uh, as a matter of fact, do a skyline 
skyline and that's got a peak over there. Zooming in on the sign. Ferrell's peak 1.8 k's and George peak one kilometer back. Is it down here? It's down here, ma'am. Oh, you have to see, so we're actually right opposite. There. We're right okay. here. So we've done 1 k, we've got 7 k's of trail and then 4 k's of easy walking. I think. Yeah. But this is downhill now more, I think. Downhill all the way. Not pretty much all the way. Slightly bumpy, but uh, downhill. It's about five to two on my watch. Um, we've just come across the only little water source on top of the mountain that I know of. This is a fountain. It's sort of running in here from there. It makes a little pool here. Don't disturb the pool, then the mud rises and you can't, you don't get clear water. Um, there are a couple of bugs floating on the water. Um, it's not stagnant. It's entirely clean. Um, when you scoop it out, it's got a brown color to it, like mountain water does. It might have a slight soily, muddy kind of taste, but it's entirely good. Nobody has ever gotten tummy bugs from this, as far as I know. And uh, yeah, if you absolutely, I mean, if you're if you're running out of water, this is the spot to to keep in mind. It's a bit away from the top. That's a, the saddle is about over there somewhere. Banning across. There's George Peak. Yeah, I'm it's okay. I don't think it can be. Yeah. If you were sitting on the yeah. road. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the way ahead. It is now about uh, half past three. And they say If you have not reached this point by two o'clock, it is too late to continue for your own safety. We urge you to turn back. So we are, well, going back. <laughs> this is breakfast Remaining rock. Continue to either peaks. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Don't go onto the peaks if yeah. you if it's two o'clock in the afternoon yeah. and you get yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. This is breakfast rock. The path to your left goes to the viewpoint. Oh. I'm just going to take a quick peek here. There's some orange algae or lichen or something growing on those rocks in the riverbed at the bottom of the valley. Um, the same kind of growth is on the rocks in the main waterfall on the front side of the mountain. Sometimes that waterfall seems to be red and orange. It's the same kind of thing. Uh, moving around. Railway track and Syntec Tower and town. That's a general, in that direction is where we started this morning, but we still have to go around the back. I'm going to see if I can get a better view. Yeah, that's a better view. 
Oh, there's a window open, looks like. A bright flash. And then we're going down the track. Then down the hill, and then it zigzags, zigzags down to the railway track. On the railway track, we turn to the right. Follow that dirt road for a bit, and then down into the valley eventually. Past that pylon over there. Don't know if you can see it on the video. And down into the valley, and up that dirt road. To the edge of the pine plantations. And then along the edge of the pine plantations, turning left and going back home that way. It's about 20 past 5 on my watch. And this is the bottom end of the of the zigzags. If you've done this route, you'll know about the zigzags. And there's a railway track. And then coming to the railway track can be tricky because there aren't any clear route markers. And you might think follow the track that way, round the bend, go to the tower, then walk down. It's possible to do it. But from what I remember, the last time I tried to do that, it's a very long way around this way. So, walk the other way. This is the usual way. There's a, there's a marker. Somebody left an arrow for us. That's the way that the group went before us. There's the rest of my group just ahead. I ran back to get this video quickly. So, um, I'm going to catch up with him. I think this is it. Yep, this is it. So it's, yeah, yeah. it's easy to miss it if you don't know what to look for. It's just a slight turn off, off the track. It's not marked at all. Okay. And then the you head down the track and you oh, yeah, go for the pylon. And then to the left down into the valley and then you should be good. Yeah, it's just past half past five on my watch. And... Uh, can be a little bit tricky if you don't know what, what to do, where to go. The idea is to head down to that pylon over there. But how to get there along this track? There's a turn off to the left here, which seems to be rather obscurely marked. There's a pole with a rock and another rock on top of the rock. It sounds like a song I know. Yeah. And over there is a little sign that says George Peak, Craddock Peak. So the idea is that you come up this road, both this pole with the top of rock, and then turn to the right hand side to go up to George Peak. Hey, look, there it is. So, on your way back, don't miss this marker, and then go down to the pylon. Okay, it's going on to quarter to six, and uh, that's the way we've come. There's George Peak. And here's the pylon, and then here's a sign of some kind, it used to be a sign, it's been burned down in the forest fires of 2018, October 2018, and it says uh, Craddock Peak, George Peak up ahead, and the other one says, let me just get that, come on. Uh, almost there we go. It says Craddock Pass. And that arrow is burnt off on the left hand side. That's the old ox wagon pass. And you can follow this trail and cro actually cross the river and then go up to the old toll house on Montague Pass. 
and then over here it says power and that's the way we want to go that way because power is the old railway station just behind the Centec tower and if you look closely on the video there's still a little station building like a depot or something um, visible from where I'm standing at the moment so our general direction is that way but we don't going to go to power we want to go through the valley and then there's a line running diagonally up that ridge we want to follow that line to the pine trees and then go home it's about quarter past six and that's where we've been today It was amazing. Bestest climb ever. Thank you. Just past quarter past six on my watch. Is a downhill track coming down the hill, like downhill tracks do, and going into the forest. What's it say? Happy cows crossing. Okay, cool. Here, Craddock Peak and Craddock Pass, where we've come from. There's the power and the cross. Power is the railway station along the line, and then go past the tower around the outer edges, around the outer edges, and then across to the cross. But going home. We turn right down the road, follow the edge of the plantation. Yeah, it's just past 20 past 6 on my watch. Some more tracks over here. Signage says that's the quarry trail going to the quarry. If you enjoy this, these trails, Please consider joining the Hillbillies Mountain Bike Club. And go left around the bend. Uh, it's about 25 past 6. Uh, and the road splits to the left. Yeah, we go to the left. Yeah, all the way left. All the way left. Okay. Okay, yes. Some piece of and then uh, eventually we we reach the point where we came out of the forest this morning onto this road and then we just go down there again. Uh, it's going on to seven o'clock. Just to just past ten past seven. That says uh, let's see if I can get there. It says And we have decided to take an alternative route home. Not going all the way to where we started this morning. Uh, on the contour road. Where we came out on the contour road this morning. We're taking another road down. And this one is known as Bosfark. That's Afrikaans for bush pig. Show you the little sign on the tree here. And it says Bosfark. Alright. Bosfark is long and fairly steep if you're cycling it up on a bicycle, but it's a nice downhill if you're hiking. And that'll take us down to the lower contour road, and then from there we'll turn left and Go to where we parked the cars this morning, at the top of Arbor Road. Ok, 
It's about quarter past seven, going on to quarter past seven. Here we are, the bottom of Bosvark, and we're approaching a crossroads. And uh, there's a tree in the middle of the crossroads, some ferns growing around it. I feel a patch I call a, a woozle bush. If you know Winnie the Pooh, one of the stories, the original Winnie the Pooh, not the Walt Disney Winnie the Pooh. In the original Winnie the Pooh, Pooh and Piglet walk around a world woozle bush. So this is woozle bush. And uh, at this woozle bush, we keep to the left, going back to Arbor Road. That's the way to Witfontein State Forest Office. That's Bosfark up there. And the road turning, the way I'm looking now, the way, road turning down towards the left hand side. That's um, the road to Aram Road, Aram Street. But we're going to Arbor Road. It's about 25 past 7. And here we are where we started this morning, top of Arbor Road. Glad to be back. Feet are sore. Backs are. Okay. And there's Carl and Johanna sitting on the sidewalk waiting for us. Yeah, almost home. Almost home. Thank you everybody for coming along.